The Diablo Immortal beta is here. I'm gonna be reacting to the trailer and giving you all the information that you need to know if you're not already up on it. What's up my friends? My name is Echo and we are going to be going through this document and some video footage talking about what's to come inside of the closed beta for Diablo Immortal. If you love Diablo Immortal, make sure you sub the channel and ring the bell because we bring you this stuff all of the time. But let's dive right into the trailer and break that down. All right, so we can already see that there's focus on the Immortals closed beta. Let's go. Introducing the Necromancer, the newest and last class to come to the game, at least for now. Being able to summon the dead, this is pretty awesome stuff. I can't wait to get my hands on the Necro. Immortals versus Shadows, some big changes coming here as well. Immortal battling the Shadows, defending their reign. Yes, conquering some new foes. Who are the new foes? Eight player Heliquary Raid. So it went from four players now to eight players, which is also sweet PVE for days. The legacy of the Haradrim, a new system for upgrading stuff. Powerful gear. What is this? New set items? Yes, in your secondary slots, you're going to be able to get new set items. We're going to talk about that in a little bit as well. Awakening your gear, upgrading it beyond to make it look completely epic more gem upgrades as well wow this is gonna be epic so that trailer really gives us a lot of stuff and it does it really quickly so we're gonna go through the blog post as well to kind of get all the details by the way this is on the blizzard website news.blizzard.com i'll try to remember to link it down below if you can't find it down below it's because I forgot, but you could just Google it and find it as well. So let's scroll through here. I'm not gonna go through all of it because it's not all of huge importance, but notice Australia and Canada are where this is coming to. Yeah, some content creators are gonna be able to get in like myself, which is gonna be great. That's cool. Another thing, like I mentioned in yesterday's video, if you missed yesterday's video, I got together with Nemo and we had a great breakdown of everything coming to this beta in depth go check out that video. My editor is epic and he's gonna pop it up on the screen so you know where to go. So here's the video that we just watched. Remember that this is all only available on Android. There's a reason for that. We're gonna talk about it in a moment, but look at this, the new class, the Necromancer, and notice it's a female Necromancer. This is exactly what I'm gonna be playing. This is what my Let's Play is gonna be on, playing the Necro class as a female, being able to summon the dead to fight alongside you. That is going to be epic. I've never really spent much time on the Necromancer at all, so I'm going to. And I'm going to take you guys along with me on the journey. We're going to get back to those regular Diablo Immortal videos, and I'm stoked about it. The Cycle of Strife is getting an update. And without going into too much depth, you can read some on the screen. The Cycle of Strife is the Shadows versus the Immortals. And what you see happening right here is the one lone immortal defending their immortality. That one immortal is going to be blown up into some beast of a monster, massive as you can see, and 30 shadows are then going to try to defeat that immortal. So if the immortal lives and defeats all 30 shadows, then the immortal remains the immortal. They, they defended their immortality. But if the immortal goes down, all of the shadows then turn into a battle royale mode and have to fight it out to figure out who is going to become the new immortal. PvP, baby. I want to see this game mode in something else that we're going to be talking about in a moment. And you can see that PvP information being shown right here. There's going to be a battleground ladder system, so a matchmaking system. So when you're in the battlegrounds and queued up for matches, you're going to be able to be ranked and fight people that are your rank makes it fair it was not fair there was no system in the closed alpha that was fine it was closed alpha but now it's there and i can't wait to dive in set items what yes 
That's correct. There were going to be no set items, but now there are, but they're not taking up your legendary item slots. The legendary item slots are the slots on the right hand side. You could see two, four, six items over there side by side. They're legendaries and you slot your legendary gems inside. The set items are going to be on the left hand side of your character. There are going to be three sets and six full sets. And that's going to be really sweet because you can get three gems and have a partial or all six and have it full. They are going to be set collections that you're going to want to grab, get the rewards. Plus, they're going to look cool. As you can see, you're going to get bonuses from wearing three from a set or from wearing six from a set. So it's going to be enticing for you to start going out there and collecting. You're going to get better item drops just in the regular gameplay, in rifts, in dungeons, and we're getting a hell four mode as well, which is one higher than we previously had. Remember, you can't dive right into hell one until you, you beat the game on regular difficulty, but then you're gonna be able to take it on and it's gonna be harder. There is an update coming to the Hell Aquarium. Remember, the Hell Aquarium boss is new every single month. You start out with one, that one Hell Aquarium boss will always be available, but then the following month there will be a new one. This is a PvE battle where you and now eight friends or eight people total can go in and try to battle and try to defeat the Hell Aquarium boss. It's going to be more difficult now being that eight people can go at it. Remember, you get rewarded, and those rewards are going to offer you permanent buffs to your character, which is massive. So this is really cool that they really saw, they being Blizzard, saw that people were enjoying doing the Heliquary stuff with friends. So why not open it up to be able to have more friends? Good idea. Now, more updates on PvP. If you're going to be engaging in elder rifts in bounties or things like that to get rewards those are going to help progress your battle pass and the battle pass price is going to be five bucks a month that gives you the top tier for free and the lower tier for five bucks with massive rewards it's probably going to be the best buy inside of the game now I said Best Buy, and this is why it is only on Android. You will be able to spend money inside of Diablo Immortal's closed beta. So if you decide to spend $100 inside of Diablo Immortal, you'll get that money back in credits for Diablo Immortal for when it releases, and you'll be able to spend those 100 bucks again. I love this because you're getting to spend the money twice. You're getting double the uh, enjoyment and the pleasure out of it. Double the pleasure, double the fun. Does anyone even know what I'm talking about with that? You probably are too young. Let me know down below if you know what I'm talking about. Notice right now the bounty board is going to take you all to the same zone. So all four of the chosen bounty board events are going to give you rewards and take you to here, the dark wood. So you're not going to have to go from zone to zone to zone, wasting your time. They're making it more effective. Quality of life change. You asked for it. You got it. I could care less about it, but controller support is here. There's a list of the current supported controllers. This is a small list to start just to get people the ability to jump on some Xbox controllers, some Sony controllers as well. I do like Xbox controllers better. I was an Xbox player, an Xbox fan. So yeah, that's where my heart lies. But you are going to be able to connect and play with controllers for all of you that are not players who like to play on the glass. I like my fingers on the glass playing whenever, wherever, that's just me. I know there's a lot of you that are going to that are going to enjoy this. So, do that. Enjoy it. It was literally done for you because the development team heard the cry for control support. We have some miscellaneous changes coming to PVP, PVE tweaks, of course, because this is stuff that just gets changed over time and just gets worked a little bit better. We talked about the in-game purchases. Now there's going to be bundles that you can buy, the battle pass you can buy. There's going to be different items that you can buy. You remember, you can never buy gear, gems, or anything that's going to give you power. You're not going to be able to enhance your power directly by buying stuff that's going to make you stronger. You can't buy power. You can buy legendary crests, which you can then run in elder rifts and get legendary gems from that. So it's indirect. You got to put the work in. There's a lot of stuff you're going to be able to purchase. 
and I can't wait. So yeah, guys, there's a lot coming to the closed beta. Unfortunately, it's not open to everybody. I wish that it was, but it's open to a lot more people than we had it available to before. And remember myself, my good friend Nemo, and a bunch of other content creators will be bringing you live streams and videos filling you in on this. They're still slated to drop this game or to, you know, release it in full halfway through this year. My guess is that we're going to have the beta for about two months. They're going to take a three month break and then we'll be getting into the full drop. So somewhere around March, April, May, June, more like May, June, probably. I'm excited. Can't wait to get back into it and share all of my experience with the Necromancer and the new game modes with you guys. Now, remember, if you guys enjoyed the video, if you want to know more about Diablo Immortal, you need to subscribe to the channel. You need to ring the bell because I'm coming out with this stuff for you guys on the regular. When something drops, I'm going to be here. Hit sub, hit ring, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day and be good.